Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys in a Ride. Ride. Today we're going to take a look at this beautiful 2019 Honda CRV and the color Molten Lava. It's fantastic looking, Nathan. How about that? I am hoping it's as hot as it sounds because I'm cold. <laughs> it is a little blustery out here today, folks. So if you're new to our channel, please subscribe below and hit that bell at the top so you get notifications every time we post a new video. But for right now, let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. The LX trim level starts at $24,350. The EX starts at $27,250. The EXL starts at $29,750. And as I said, this is a Touring and it starts at $32,750. Now you'll either get a 2.4 liter uh, inline turbo four cylinder engine, 16 valve double overhead cam, producing 184 horsepower and 180 pound foot of torque or you'll get a 1.5 liter inline turbo four 16 valve double overhead cam producing 190 horsepower and 179 pound foot of torque on the front end you see the multi-reflector halogen headlights as well as the fog lights now this vehicle does have active shutter grille that will uh, close and uh, at highway speeds or whenever appropriate to make the vehicle more aerodynamic and improve upon the fuel mileage. It also has real-time all-wheel drive with intelligent control system, CVT transmission with sport mode. It does have remote entry, so all you have to do if you've got the uh, key fob in your pocket, just come up and you touch the little sensor here on the door handle and that will unlock the car and as you close it you can touch it again and that will lock the car or of course if you've got the key fob in your pocket you can use the buttons on that as well there is variable ratio electronic power steering and they do come with 17 or 18 inch alloy wheels with either 235 65 r17s or 235 60 r18 all season tires now the turning diameter on this vehicle is 37.4 feet. It does ride on a 104.7 inch wheelbase. Its overall length is 180.6 inches. Its overall height, 66.1 and then 66.5 for the all wheel drive version. Its width is 73 inches. Its ground clearance is 7.8 inches to 8.2 inches, depending on front wheel or all wheel drive. The approach angle on the front, 20.8 degrees. And the departure angle on the rear, 23.5 degrees. There are McPherson front suspension and multi-link double wishbone rear suspension. Its curb weight is 3,307 pounds for the front wheel drive, up to 3,421 pounds for the all wheel drive. And as so, if properly equipped, it will tow up to 1,500 pounds. Fuel mileage ratings are from 25 city to 32 highway with 27 combined, and it does have a 14 gallon fuel tank. Now the CRV uh, just recently passed the Honda Accord as their best-selling vehicle. And cargo volume behind the rear seat is 39.2 cubic feet. And with the second row seats folded down, it's 75.8 cubic feet. One of the features I really do like about this vehicle, and I hope we can see it well enough on the camera. Let me see if we can get in a little closer so we can see this. As you'll see right now, it doesn't have a particularly flat floor, but you simply readjust the bottom 
hatch and then that then gives you a flat floor and then you can see underneath the hatch you do have a full-size spare tire and there's your jack and tire changing equipment so you don't have to deal with a fix-a flat kit then if you want to go back to where the seat or the uh, load floor was previously just pull forward slide it back up it slides back down in this area and you're all set there is a little bit of storage on the side here and again on this side and you can see the rear seat release handles and you do have a light on this side as well as a light on the other side and this being the touring model it does come with the cargo shade that's easily deployed that way it does have a multi adjustable height adjustable uh, power lift gate and we'll close that up right now you can see the backup camera and there we go this also as I should say does have the hands-free power tailgate I'm not sure it's going to work right now because it, the vehicle is running so I think it has to be turned off uh, Nathan does have the vehicle running as he's doing his review on the inside overall it's um, it's evolutionary CRV styling you can definitely see hints of previous CRVs in it which is definitely a good thing I believe tail lights have been redone in the back but still up the uh, D column if you will so it gives it that nice uh, easily viewable brake and turn signals then you see the bright chrome strip with the Honda logo on the back and I said this is the all-wheel drive and uh, the touring version and you do have dual exhaust pipes or dual exhaust tips on this vehicle I like the chrome trim around the windows I like the chrome trim and black cladding along the bottom and the black cladding over the wheel arches and I like the exaggerated flat wheel arches as well you do have the turn signal indicators in the mirrors and let's see if we can see it you do have the blind spot warning you can see the little uh, diagram in the rearview mirror there this vehicle does have a sunroof and I like the uh, brushed stainless looking roof rack as well love the front end styling like the honeycomb pattern grill and like the big bold chrome Honda emblem it's funny that's almost the size I would imagine of one of the very first um, Honda Civics <laughs> from the 70s that emblem is huge but all cars are that way now love the whole front end love the look I uh, was uh, in front of this vehicle on the way over to our filming location and the uh, lights daytime running lights on it look spectacular it's fantastic fantastic design love the cut lines in the hood gives us some sporty look to it and some uh, cut lines in the side and the, the nice hip line running through here right into the door handles and all the way back to the rear lights really nicely done love the wheels love the wheel design fantastic nice job Honda okay so here we are on the 2019 Honda CRV and uh, we're taking a look at the door panel here I like the wood trim that they've put in here along with these soft satin chrome accents hey you got two position memory for your seat standard window and uh, mirror controls got some nice uh, bottle storage right here and then just some additional storage to the front and back of that over here we have a 12-way power seat that does include a two position lumbar moving on down over here here you have your lane departure system you can turn on or off you have your uh, collision warning that you can turn on or off here you have traction control on or off and here you have a button to open your rear door down here you've got your open your fuel fuel cap and the button to open your front engine hood you got a nice left foot rest right here coming up here we've got basically your driver's information system uh, buttons over here along with volume and phone and voice command over here you've got buttons for your cruise control as well as some of the safety systems looking up at the dashboard there these are digital needles I really like that 
Hey, moving over here, we have a seven inch, uh, 330 watt infotainment system. Soft touch control, but you do have a manual power on and off and a um, volume control. This does include Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Moving down here, you've got dual zone auto climate control. And you do have some physical buttons down here for your climate control. Um, but you also have some available through your infotainment system if you would prefer to use a touchscreen. This does come with dual heated seats in the front. You have an economy mode button to turn on if you want to be a save gas a little bit. You do have an automatic parking brake. And then you do have that brake hold feature, which means if you engage that and you come to a stop in traffic and take your foot off the brake, the car will remain stopped. And then when you uh, press the accelerator, it will start, it will, it will release the brake and you will start again. Automatic transmission. Uh, this one does have a, a normal D for drive and a S for sport and an L for low gear. Hey, moving on down below that, we do have a 180 watt max uh, 12 volt outlet right here. But we also have another one down in here, along with a USB charger and a USB connection to the media. So if you want to use uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you've got those there. Lots of plugins. Dual cup holders right over here. A nice tray for storage here. Again, it's got a rubber mat in there to help things from slipping. One of the things that I really like about this, okay, so if I go back here, let you can see, if I grab this and pull it up, you can see that I've got this piece right here. So I can access everything I need to with the armrest closed. Okay, but I can also shove this forward if I want. And have a nice little storage tray right here and then i can leave that place open it up and i still have access back here to the center armrest storage okay so lots of little, little different configurations all right up here you have uh, a, a automatic dimming rearview mirror along with your normal reading lights and your um and then a sunglass stores with a conversation with a conversation mirror you do have your home link. You do have your home link buttons up here. The visors are illuminated on both sides, and they are telescoping. For the glove compartment, they have a very deep glove compartment right there. Overall, I really like the interior in the front here. Um, I love the uh, the off white. It's almost like a tan colored leather uh, along with the wood accents and then the piano black all soft touch uh, materials okay. over on the passenger seat you have four-way power and same kind of storage here the bottle holder and a little extra on the doors and the front behind standard window controls but i really like the satin chrome finish they've put on there along again with that wood trim okay. moving in the back here uh, we've got the standard, uh, just the window controls. Yep, here's the door. You do have a little tweeter built right into the door. We have a seat back pocket on the uh, passenger side, uh, not over on the driver's side. We have our climate control vents here, as well as two USB charging ports right down here, which are really nice. These do close to be protected from dirt and derbies. Right. The leather seating is really nice back here. We have got a cup holder, dual cup holder that folds down, okay. as well as reading lights up here. And you do have a sunroof with a shade. All right, overall a beautiful vehicle. All right, so now we're going to go take it for a ride. Okay. 2019 CRV, Honda's best selling vehicle. And this is a touring trim. And Nathan, I've been looking forward to this. Well, so, so far, this oh, sits, sits nicely in a traffic light. 
two guys in a traffic light. Yeah, yeah that's about what I'm, what I'm seeing here. Oh, comfortable seats. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like the uh, the wood trim. It's not real yeah. good, but it does look like real good. I like that along with the sort of the satin chrome finish. Yep, yep. And you got a little, bit, a little bit of the piano black as well. So a lot of different textures and looks and colors Yeah, in here, but uh, it, it all goes very, very well together. This is yep. the ivory interior. Very light. That's, That's the, the color, color they call it. Like yeah. It's kind of a light, light, light tan. Yep. I think they call it very nice. So. And I noticed this has that typical Honda dashboard where it's uh, outlined in the gray or green. And as you're going and driving more economically friendly, it's uh, outlined in green. Um, right now it's green. I wouldn't know. I'm not seeing any green. Well, just for a second there, it was green while you were telling me that. Oh, that's because so, I was braking, braking and coming to a stop. Right. right. Yes, yes, it does. You weren't purposely turning it green. <laughs> And I actually noticed, too, that sitting in here in the passenger seat, you can see the outer edges of the hood, which is kind of nice for the reasoning of, you know, maneuvering in traffic. You can you know where the corner of your vehicle is. A lot of vehicles now, except for maybe large uh, pickup trucks, you can't see the hood at all or the corners. So that kind of helps to let you know the distance you have. Yeah, it, 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 it's been really sculpted down in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Like all the chrome accents, it really looks like it's uh, really top-notch material. Yes. Like it's fit and finish in here. And it looks like it's a far more upscale vehicle than you would think for a mid-size uh, SUV. But this is a Touring, so it is a top line. Uh, a little more traffic out here today than we're used to. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really able to find it out. see what she got under the hoods. But uh, we'll, we'll get into it. <laughs> I can't go back out. Oh, cool. Oh, we got a lot of, we got, we, we got some good up and go. Lane keeping system, very active. It really works to keep it in the middle of your lane. Which is what it's supposed to do. But it is, a, it is just a different feeling. So if it, this is the first time you buy a car with that on there, Take the, be, aware for, be ready for the steering wheel to move on you. Well, it's part of that Honda safety sense yeah. package. Yep. Yeah. Lots of technology in these vehicles, lots of new things. That, if you had a bought a car in the past five, six years, even maybe four years, you would have had a lot of technology on cars that uh, wasn't around just five years ago. You got the Apple, the Android, you've got the lane keeping, you've got the brake assist, you've got the Ford and reverse collision warning. And, and even the back of the traffic standard. standard. Yeah, the cross traffic alert. Uh, these things are coming standard on more and more cars. It's really good thing because yeah, and it's safety. And on, on the CRV, they are standard across every trim level except for the LS. Boy, this is nice and comfortable. Wow. It is nice. Getting a little road noise from my, but we've got the we've got the sunroof open. Yeah. That always adds a little bit, but you know. Normal conversation level in here. Uh, the steering, the steering, really positive. You know, that's one of the things I always like about Hondas. It feels like you're driving a go kart because you're so responsible. Yeah, responsible, responsive. Sorry, that was a I've never seen a responsible, responsible go kart before. Apparently, <laughs> well, Honda is a responsible company after all because it is the Earth Dreams technology. Uh, they are ultra low emission vehicles as well. So uh, there you go. It's responsible too. All right, so in a second here, we're going to switch drivers here, but um, uh, so far, I, I, I've really enjoyed the ride. Um, the engine is surprisingly responsive for its tiny size, yeah. but the fuel economy is going to be a big payoff for that. Um, Even with the all-wheel drive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean, the stream will get in. I like these little, these little bulges on the top uh, for thumb rests. Um, and uh, the extended steering was really responsive. They didn't get much chance to try out the braking, but there was nothing unusual about the braking. It seemed to work just fine. It wasn't overly sensitive and worked like you would felt it should. So, all right, well, let's switch uh, drivers here and we'll let Rob take a turn. I see. Tilt and telescope, I like that. Tilting and telescoping wheel. And here I am. I'm back here. Rob didn't leave me. I only made it to the back seat. He was getting away pretty quick. 
Okay, very tight turn. Actually, I'm gonna do this again. We're going to oh, thank you. We're doing a roundabout. I'm gonna see if I can get Nathan uh, dizzy and drunk. You know what? Here. I will get Rob will get dizzy way before I do. Okay, yeah, I, I'm getting there now, so I'm gonna have to straighten this out. Very tight turning. Plus, circle. everyone is wondering what are we doing? <laughs> I'm well, like, are you going somewhere? So it's like eight or ten motors on yeah. the side road wondering, okay, is he getting, is he going to turn right sometime or is he going to keep going around in circles? Well, I wanted to see how the turning circle is on this. And it's 37.4 yeah. or 37 feet, four inches is the turning circle. But It was tight. Man. The, um, I can tell you back here, I got plenty of headroom. I have got like six inches between my knees and the seat I was sitting in. Comfortable seats, long enough on the legs. You know, I hate it when the seats are short. Right. And there's not much there for your legs. But this is plenty. Uh, with the big armrest here, the cup cup holders in the middle, very comfortable back here. You know what I really like is the integration of the touch screen. You can see that it's a tablet type of uh, screen, and that it's um, kind of added onto the dashboard not really integrated as one big giant piece and covered but it's laid back at a good viewing angle to keep the glare of the sun off of it and it doesn't just stick straight up and out like a lot of them do so it looks right. a lot more integrated I yes, like it that. does I, and I, I agree with you I think that looks better I like this this it's very comfortable you've got nice soft touch materials even around the door uh, window switches and locks and stuff, it's a harder plastic. I mean, it's, it's it's hard plastic, but it feels like it's got a little cushion to it. So Honda's really nicely thought that out. And like I said before, the wood grain is not real wood, but of course it's got that nice satin look to it. It's not a bright, shiny 60s, 70s looking disco wood trim. Yeah. And even, even the hard plastic on the door trim still carries over the same look of the soft plastic so it has the same grain, at them, the same really, grain in it yeah and you really can't tell that it's not a soft plastic you're right i mean the responsiveness oh. of it right i'm sorry i'm going to get you busy now aren't i yeah it's it's extremely responsive it is oh boy yep. little, very go, nice little, little go kart would be a good description very nice I like it. I like I like the layout. Everything is yeah. easily easily at, at fingertip. And I like yes, it is. And I like having the transmission up. Yep. Someplace, and it's not a push button, so my uh, my animals aren't going to accidentally click on something. Right, but that's not nice to call your children animals. Yeah, I'm not talking about my children. <laughs> I'm talking about my animal animals. <laughs> I was using Apple CarPlay, and I know I've said this before, but. Boy, oh boy, you're not, you're gonna love that Apple Car, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, whatever it is uh, system you have. Um, they they work beautiful. So, have you found your favorite thing of this vehicle yet, Nathan? Um, yes. Uh, I had to think okay. for a minute. I had more than one, but yes. Yeah, I. Yeah, how about you? Well. Yeah, same. There's, I've got more than one, so I'm really going to have to think about it and narrow it down. But anyway, we're almost at the end of our drive. We want to thank our friends at Luther Mankato Honda for loaning us this beautiful uh, 2019 Honda CRV. And, uh, you know, as always, like and subscribe to our channel, please. Uh, hit the little red button at the bottom and ring the bell at the top so you always get notifications when we post new videos. Uh, we uh, definitely post a new video at least once a week. Uh, yep. So, you know, you always want to stay up and watch what we're uh, reviewing next. But uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr. And uh, you know what? Let's go out there and let's take a ride. Let's take a ride. All right. So we're at the end of our ride, Rob. Yep. What is uh, your favorite thing? Or do you want me to go first? I want you to go first. Okay. So my favorite thing, I, I've already showed you, and maybe I'll just play back a little clip of it, but it's the Apple CarPlay. I have an iPhone, and I'm just, I'm absolutely falling in love with that Apple CarPlay. Okay. I am. All right, so we're at the end of our ride, Rob. Yep. What is uh, your favorite thing? Or do you want me to go first? I want you to go first. Okay. So my favorite thing, I, I've already showed you, and maybe I'll just play back a little clip of it, but it's the Apple CarPlay. I have an iPhone and I'm just, I'm absolutely falling in love with that Apple CarPlay. 
Um, I can play any of my main music sources. Um, I can do navigation. I had to use a navigation app earlier today uh, when Rob did the Batmobile thing on me and, and just took off in the middle of like downtown. <laughs> so, but I was able to use Siri uh, through the steering wheel controls, plot my course uh, all hands free, and you know make it there. And I love having the music through there. But for me, I mean, it's just beautiful. Yeah. I, I, that is absolutely my favorite thing. Oh, it's a great feature. It's easy. I've got to say, my favorite thing is the. Uh, it's it's multiple parts, but it's one engine. It's the 1.5 liter turbocharged uh, engine that kicks out all the, that horsepower, and it it moves this all-wheel drive vehicle, and it's turbocharged, and it's Honda technology. It's built Honda reliable and Honda tough and you know it's going to last you forever plus the low emissions and high fuel mileage it's just uh to me it's it's amazing they can put that much power into it's such a small little engine. small displacement so yeah. that's my favorite thing <laughs> I'm gonna stop parking out before I take myself because <laughs> I will eventually Okay, you will notice I used my turn signal that time, so the little lane keeping assist didn't yell yeah, at me. Yeah, but you, you haven't been feeling well this afternoon, <laughs> so that's just, you know. Lots of pep, nice grip, not overly, but nice grippy brakes. Thank you. As I plant nice, Nathan's head into the head there. Pretty good, I can tell you that. You got the tensioners going there? Yeah. Yep. You know, I like the little tweeters they put into the door here. Oh, right. Can we say that on YouTube? Yes. All the speakers, I'm the, sorry. Yes, the tweeters in the door. The, uh, um, the, I had the sound system on earlier when I was driving the vehicle prior to filming. and uh, Yeah, you were jamming. I was, and it was nice. I like, well, it's, this uh, particular system is 330 watts. Really? I wanted to see what 330 watts sounded like in a RAV4, and it did sound very good. CRV. Uh, I did want to. I wanted to see what the 330 watt sound system. I want. I wanted to see. <laughs> ah! I wanted to see what the 330 watt sound system sounded like to the CRV. <laughs> sounded great because I could hear it from outside. <laughs> and when I opened the door, I had to step back a little boom, bit boom, because boom. you were jamming.